Family members take matters into their own hands when their SUV is stolen. They say they called police, but also went looking for their car and the criminals. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Huynh shows us what they did when they found them. They did this within 30 seconds. It was 30 seconds time that, that they got in the car and, and took it and took off with it. It was Tuesday evening around 6.30 when Shirley Garza picked up her four grandchildren from daycare. As she was ushering everyone into the house, two men came by and saw an opportunity, hopping into the front seat and taking off. We're like, wait, what? The truck's not here? We look out there, the truck is gone. She's gone. Shirley's daughter, Raquel, jumped in her car looking for their stolen SUV. I think my adrenaline is just, it's pumping too fast, so I'm not even thinking clearly. So I'm on the phone with 911. Within minutes, she spotted their SUV on Forest Lane and followed it onto I-35. He's going really fast. I'm going behind him. I lost control of my car. I hit the wall. The impact deployed the airbag and left her with a mark from the seatbelt. The car thieves got away, but not for long. This morning, mother and daughter were on their way to get a rental car when they saw their stolen SUV again at the corner of Royal Lane and Dennis. While Raquel called police, Shirley and her son went up to the SUV and found another surprise. There was a girl on, on the passenger side, there was a man on the driver's side, and my son was with me, and he went to the driver's side, I went to the passenger side. The girl had a ponytail, so I just took her by the ponytail and just got her out. The SUV was trashed. There's needles all in the car. Uh, the car's filthy. It's full of urine. And the driver and passenger ran away. While we were at the family's home, Dallas police showed up to take a report. Can you describe them to me? The the uh, drive. The, well, let's go with the driver first. Though the family got their SUV back, police recommend waiting for them first. I don't want anybody to be hurt, so I, I don't recommend anybody to take things into their own hands, but this time we're lucky. In Northwest Dallas, Lenan Wynn for Fox 4 News.